Shannon Miller now, who is simply running away and hiding from the rest of the field and the individual competition here. Incidentally, your eyes are not playing tricks on you. Shannon does, in fact, have a different outfit for every discipline. She represents a manufacturer and part of the deal. And they're introducing a lot of their new lines here. And what better model? This has been one of my favorite events of Shannon's. From the time I first saw her, she had such a high level of difficulty and just an uncanny sense of balance and the ability to really perform on this event under a lot of pressure. the Miller. She invented it and introduced it first at the World Championships in Birmingham, England. And it was also given a very high level of difficulty. It's nice to see Shannon really mature in the sport right before our very eyes. Still maintaining her difficulty, full twisting double back, and her poise in competition, just meet after meet after meet. Well, she's just showing you today that there is the best and there is the rest, and that's what we're seeing right now. Somebody trying to emerge from the pack of the rest. Shannon used to perform three layout step outs years and years ago, but now with the new rules, so many of the gymnasts are just working the rule book, doing what they have to do to get those bonus points, which is important. But my honest opinion, I think it's almost made it boring because they're all doing the same things rather than as Shannon was doing, was creating new skills like this one called the Miller and getting credit for it. She was one of the first gymnasts to perform this very difficult dismount. Watch it. Full twist on the first somersault and then pulls it around, still way up above the beam at that point. 9875, the score for Shannon Miller, maintaining an outstanding performance so far here in Atlanta. We'll be back. Barry Tompkins with Kathy Johnson back in Atlanta. Jenny Bethard now of Browns on the uneven bars. Jenny right in the hunt. She has a really nice section right at the top of the routine. Watch her roll her grip and all the way back up to handstand. Here's a release move. Just a little leg separation on that. Everything else is really right on. Reverse hex, another release move. Now watch this dismount. Full twisting double back. One of the only ones in the competition. Beautiful landing. And a 9-7 for Jenny Bethard. She likes it, her coaches like it, and that's going to move her up, I would have to think. The battle here is for second and third right now, and that's certainly going to help her. Mary Lou Cousineau, third in the Canadian National Championships. That earned her birth in the World Championships, where she finished 62nd, and says she learned a lot. So from World, uh, what I've learned is um, it helped me to look at other gymnasts, how to train, how to compete. And from them, I learn how, or, and I could then uh, do that in my own training. So I think I'm improving from them. Mary Lou Cousin now on Flores. And this can be a very good event for her. She's such a dynamic, powerful gymnast. Tumbling is certainly one of her strengths. Oh no, came out way too early. Full twisting 
little bit. Marilou Cousineau of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And the early mistake will cost her, but she did get back with it. Look at her second pass here. This was her best pass. Two whip backs. Right here. Back handspring with no hands. Into another one. Right through to a double back. She has great air sense on this, and... It's a shame that she had so much trouble on the first tumbling pass because you can see she really knows where she is in the air and she just came out way too early on the first one. But she pulls this one right around, looks for the ground, great landing. So we will give the score of Marilyn Cousineau as soon as we get it, which will be on the other side of all this business coming back to Atlanta after this.